Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Fate Apocrypha episode 7. Um, quickly before the start of the episode, uh, going over the last episode. Um, very good, very good episode. I loved kind of the Mordred uh, moments through it. it. was A lot of it was kind of Mordred content. Um, we got to learn about Mordred's past. Uh, we kind of saw from what happened in this timeline with uh, Artoria. Um, very, actually quite shocking to be honest, seeing this behaviour from... Uh, from our saber you know and how she was uh, how we know her in the kind of holy grail wars and seeing how she actually was in her life with mordred especially um, but i understand as well coming from her point of view because mordred was clearly off off her rocker slightly i don't know it's uh, the whole situation with the witch and her and goddamn just the kings the throne and everything like that I can see why there's some grudges being held, but um, yeah, really cool backstory to see. Quite shocking, but really fun. Not fun, you know what I mean. Um, and then the la last part of the episode where we had the masters and servants going against each other. First it was Mordred and Jack the Ripper, then she retreated, and now it's Mordred versus Kedon, and then the two masters going at it. Uh, Mr. Necromancer Man beating up a disabled, uh, disabled girl. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes now and I'm very much looking forward to it. So as always guys, if you like the video, if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's go into this episode right now. Oh, I, I feel bad for laughing, but I mean, obviously she's a master. She's, she's going to get what's coming to her, but. Yo, who did that? Whose ability is that? Oh, it's, um, right. Okay. I thought it was someone's, uh, servant's ability. Yeah, I figured this this guy was going to come in and help his sister. How do you remember names like that, bro? An ace in the hole. Ooh, what is this? I mean, there's two masters here. This would be a good time to use a command uh, spell. Oh, damn. She actually took the advice, though, even though she has the upper hand with two masters. Oh shit, dude. What happens in these fights when the servant wants to retreat? Do they have to run away or can they not just turn into magic and transport back to the master? I don't get that. Damn, I guess it's too early to lose another servant. I really thought we were going to lose a servant or a master this fight. What are you doing, fate? Got everybody telling me in the comment section in the last video that she was eight, year eight years old when she died. Why, Fate? Why? Please don't drop out of battle. <laughs> oh, these guys are cool together, man. <laughs> I like how she's carrying him. Your ass would have been smoked if he wasn't there. What do you mean? Oh, I just realized he didn't bring Frankenstein with him. He um, he just brought himself and he said he was going to use a command spell if she needed to summon him. Or he needed to summon us her. These two are sweet. Wonder which one's gonna die first. My guess is the brother. Oh, so he she is the she's the master, but she's not a mage. Oh, okay. Oh god. Is this what servants have to do to get if they want to take magic from people? So they can, they can, if if I'm getting this correct, they can use homunculuses in this kind of situation, right? Instead of actually having to eat mages' hearts. What kind of country is this in? Like, what what country is this supposed to be based on? Like Italy or something? Or I feel like they've already mentioned it, and I just haven't been paying attention. What is this? She's finding the direction of something, or what is the direction? Okay. How's it going over here, Sig? It's nice that this dude has just accepted him into his home while barely knowing him. Very true, very, very true. Lots of circumstances in someone's life. Where is she going? Is she going to the, the chapel? Okay. Interesting. She's going to go and speak with Priest Shiro. Yeah, that trap ain't going to work. Hey, yo, what is this force she's feeling? Holy shit, what was that? Hey, is this the main timeline? No, it's a different timeline. 
I thought it was um, kind of young Shiro main fate timeline. Oh, to wake up to that. <laughs> it's not, really, not very priest-like, but you're also in a, a killing war at the moment. She seems strong for an assassin. I thought she was a caster. Clearly they had something that they already mentioned, but I just wasn't paying attention. I need to I need like both teams. Like I see I see a lot of Team Black. I don't see enough of Team Red. I need them to like group up so I can just remember everybody's rank and who is with who, etc. But it's not happening yet. <laughs> I like this dude. So we got Assassin, Lancer, Archer. What is Achilles? Rider. Caster. Caster? So Shakespeare is Caster? It's going to be interesting to see, like, Shakespeare's abilities as a caster. <laughs> he doesn't seem like much of a fighter. But you're a caster. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is how Shakespeare is, I suppose, but I want to see him fight. What's the point in spawning a servant otherwise? And he's a caster in some length, so he must be able to do a bit of magic. And I'm really curious as to what his noble phantasm is as well. So we've lost Berserker and Saber is Mordred. So I know this whole team now. Okay. Ooh, where are you going, Jan? What's happening? What is this? Oh, is this Assassin's noble phantasm? Wow. That's crazy for an assassin. Yeah, for real. What the fuck? An aerial fortress, so to say. What the fuck? That's an insane noble phantasm. So does he have control over all of these servants? Like, where are the other masters? Mm. I don't think you need to follow Siegfried's destiny, though. Or goal, if he had one. Do your life, dude. That thing is speedy. Wonder if, it, wonder if it's got good Wi-Fi. Oh damn, that is a lot of skeleton soldiers. Oh, then is this the thing we saw at the very start of the series where they were fighting kind of Team Black's homunculi? How dramatic of an entrance. I also, in not the last episode, I think the episode before, I put Vlad on blast a bit, but then people kind of explained to me that He's a lot, uh, probably a lot more dangerous than I think, so I'm excited to see that. Man, that sucks that the, the first time we're going to see Berserker uh, Spartacus actually fight is on Team Black side. <laughs> Are you listening? Oh, I'm glad she listens to him, that's cute. She's still growling though. There's always got to be some servants that you ship with humans. They've mentioned who Castor is, haven't they? I've completely forgotten, though. <laughs> For real. He's like, you ride horses, that's my shtick. You know? And you have Berserker. I can see why he's kind of the leader. Damn, I don't even know who to bet on on who actually may die here. Because someone has to at this point. Is that a griffin? Okay, never mind. You've got the, the way cooler steed. What the fuck? Where are you going, Sieg? Aw, he's leaving this dude already. Bro, he has a sword belt. Really? Awesome, but why? Hey, let's go. You don't have to keep carrying around your sword now. All right, so that was Fate Apocrypha Episode 7. Uh, a lot of cool stuff went on in that episode. I was uh, surprised to say at the start that um, nothing came of the battle between Mordred and Co. Um, but I guess it was leading up to an even greater battle in the same episode, although Mordred isn't here. Um, which is interesting. Uh, kind of midway through, we got uh, Jack the Ripper and her master. Uh, it kind of showed that the master is naturally a mage, but how they go about, you know, getting magic. 
um, for Jack the Ripper. Uh, and then uh, very surprising, but not overly surprising if you saw my part two to me reacting to all noble phantasms. Unfortunately, I kind of was spoiled. Um, somewhat of the uh, of the assassin's noble phantasm uh, it's slightly different obviously the phantasms sometimes very different but slightly different the ones in game compared to the one you see in the anime but uh yeah still a crazy noble phantasm for an assassin to have to be honest um and it's gonna be cool to see it go off in battle i suppose um yeah, a lot, of, a lot of questions that I was asking throughout that. Uh, obviously, if you have the info on that and they're not too spoilerish or anything like that, then please go ahead and just let me know down below. Um, it really does help with um, getting my getting my thoughts together and kind of going into the next episodes. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.